continuing our team coverage now of another mass shooting. 19 children and two teachers were killed in an elementary school in Uvalde, Texas. This morning, there are still parents who don't know if their children are safe. They're being swabbed for DNA so authorities can test unidentifiable remains. Many people are offering people in Texas condolences and help. One of those people who was among the first to call former Columbine High School principal Frank DeAngelis. He joins us live this morning. Good morning, Frank. Good morning. Tough morning for so many in Texas and for others grieving across the country. For someone who's been through a similar situation, what was your reaction when you heard what happened there? Uh, it just took me back to what we experienced at Columbine and like every other school shooting, when I start receiving texts stating you're in my thoughts and prayers and then within a few minutes the media calls and I know there's another mass tragedy school shooting and it just took me back. And what happened yesterday really took me back to what I experienced when uh, the shootings occurred at Sandy Hook back in 2012. I can remember sitting at my desk at Columbine High School and just information kept coming in. And as the day went on, the information became more devastating. and so. A lot of, I'm sure, uh, traumatized a lot of people. Yesterday, uh, I'm sure every parent who had a kid in an elementary school started wondering, could it happen at their school? And I'm sure last night they gave their kids a hug when they walked through that door because unfortunately, what we learned sometimes there's no guarantees in this life. Yeah, mass shootings are always difficult, but even more so when young children are involved. No one expects this to happen in schools, but here in Colorado, we do train for them. For those that don't know, what kind of work is being done at the Frank DeAngelis Center for Community Safety? Well, that center really prepares uh, the law enforcement to come in and deal with these situations. And we think back to uh, prior to Columbine, you know, 20 plus years ago, 23 plus years, and the only drills we really did were fire drills. And that was it. But now these kids from a very early age, I know my granddaughter, when she started kindergarten a few years ago, they're trained on these lockdown situations, locks, lights out of sight, but also the means in which responding officers are now dealing with the situation back. 23 years ago, it was secure the perimeter and waiting until SWAT arrived, but now single officers are going in. And so they actually train to do these different activities at this center for community safety. So we're preparing. And, you know, one of the things that people ask me all the time is what they ask me is they said, what are you going to do? What are we going to do? They're all of our kids. So working with law enforcement, uh, firefighters, counselors, you know, judicial people, it's important because we need to keep these kids safe. You've made it a mission to help those impacted by mass shootings. When you reach out to these people, who do you call and what do you say? I call them um, because of something that happened to me. I can remember it was a few days after the this tragedy at Columbine High School, I received a phone call from Bill Bonds, who was a principal at uh, Paducah or Heath High School in Paducah, Kentucky. And he just said, Frank, you don't even know what you need, but here's my phone number and just overwhelmed. And so I reach out and make that initial call and I'm part of a network. And it's sad that we have to have a network, but it's called the Principal Recovery Network. And it was started by the National Association of Secondary School Principals. So they asked me to head it up. And basically there are about 27 principals around the country who have dealt with shootings within their community. So we reach out. And I think what happens is when I call someone and said, I know what you're feeling, they're saying, yeah, because you experienced it. And unfortunately, I made a comment many, many years ago after Columbine is I just joined a club in which no one wants to be a member. And if I can just reach out and kind of talk to them about what worked for us, what did not work, lessons learned. And it includes, you know, I have students reaching out, former students of mine reaching out, wanting to help, you know, teachers. And we're just in this together because they're all of our kids. You know, it's been 23 years since the Columbine shooting. A question, you, you're, you reach out to everybody and give your support. Who do you lean on after all these years for support for yourself? Well, I'll tell you, one of the things that I think our country needs to overcome is so many times people feel seeking counseling is a sign of weakness. And that is one of the things that I do not want to hear. One of the things that helped me right after the Columbine shooting a friend of my mom, my mom actually worked for him. He was, a, he was a chiropractor, but more importantly, he was a Vietnam veteran. And he called me within 24 hours and he said, Frank, 
I never got the help I needed when I returned from Vietnam and I'm paying for it now professionally and personally. He said, Frank, you're going to be pulled in so many different directions, but before you help others, you got to help yourself. And so uh, I've been in counseling. And as a matter of fact, uh, I go in periodically and I was set up to meet with my counselor next week. And this was before everything happened. So timing's just perfect. But the other thing, and this is not for everyone, but my faith is a big part of it. And I can remember after the shooting, uh, I was questioning my faith, but the pastor at St. Francis Cabrini, Father Leone called me down and he said, Frank, you encountered the gunman. You should have died that day, but God's got a plan. Now you need to rebuild that community and continue to help others. So I take that to heart. So I have a great support system, plus my family, you know, my wife, Diane, and my brothers and sisters and so much support. And so, and people reaching out, not only from Colorado, but around the country, just offering support. And hopefully uh, I can continue to help others. You have such a big heart. Thank you so much for your time and for everything that you're doing, Frank. Frank D'Angelo is there, the former uh, principal of the Columbine High School. So today is hard for Coloradans and for Texans, for everyone. So if you need someone to talk to, help is only a call away. Text as well. Colorado Crisis Center services are available 24-7. That number's on your screen, 844-493-8255. You can also text the word TALK to 38255.